Hi, I'm Stephanie Washington, and I will demonstrate how educators can use the communication tool WooClap. To begin, I am recording this tutorial using another free tool called Screencast Omatic, which can be accessed from screencast o maticcom I've also created a tutorial website on another free tool called Weebly. My tutorial website can be found on it648wooclap.weebly.com. To access the non-native application, meaning as today there is not a downloadable iPhone or Android app available, you will simply go to www.wooclap.com. WooClap is a type of audience response tool used to encourage engagement inside of the classroom. In many of our classes, we run across questions in which there are no right or wrong answers for. Utilizing this type of tool will help to encourage conversations on rhetorical questions. You can sign up by entering your email address and a password twice, or you can simply log in using a, an existing Facebook, Google, Lincoln, University, or an email account. I'll be using an existing email account to log on for this demonstration. Once you're logged on to WooClap, you have access to chat features and help features. Sebastian, one of the owners and co-authors of this website, he's an engineer. He created this website with someone within back in 2015. But as of 2019, we have over 100,000 instructors utilizing the application. But he's here to answer any questions and provide any help. You can give him uh, text messaging, any picture messaging or emotions, or either you can upload a file and he'll be able to help you if you need help along the way. But just remember, is all the help feature is in the bottom right hand corner. Um, you're allowed to create an event or you can import an event. If you want to import an event, you can borrow your coworkers uh, code on an existing test or different type of feature that you want to use and you can just duplicate it or you can utilize an XML Moodle file. Moodle is another free website in which teachers can create their own private course websites and they can be found on www.moodle.com. But in order to create an event, um, you can just add, click the plus create an event where you're allowed to create a name for your event and an optional code that you choose. For the sake of my project too, activity I did create an event for my participants my question I asked my participant was does your chosen communication tool allow all students to participate on a level that is appropriate or suitable for them I had five respondents that said yes zero said no out of the five I was two of the respondents I was just wanting to test the features I was able to log in as myself and I was also able to log in as a guest. But the participants are allowed to enter using SMS messaging or by utilizing the website from any smart device such as a tablet or cell phone or either a desktop or laptop computer. In order to create an event, you can also just Click on the main interface, click the three dots on your questions and click export and you're able to get a downloadable Excel file. The file itself will create, will contain your questions, your answer choices, the number of votes that you have and a percentage. You're also able to figure out how many students responded by SMS messaging and how many responded by website. You have 15 options on creating questions. One would be multiple choice, two poll, three find an image, four rating, five open question, six word cloud, 
7, find a number, 8, matching, 9, prioritization, 10, sorting, 11, fill in the blank, 12, slide, 13, brainstorming, 14, script concordance test, and 15, video. You have the vote tabs that create, that contains the input for the questions. You have a messaging feature, which you're allowed to turn this on or off to allow the participants to um, ask questions during the presentation. And you also have a participant page where you can create questionnaires and add files. Also, please note that in the free trial plan, you're limited to 30 participants. In the multiple choice section, you're able to enter your question and add your answer choices. You can add as many as you want. You must select at least one correct answer and you can save that answer. In the poll feature, you're able to answer your question, X your question, and you can, you're able to provide your answer choices and you're also add, are able to add as many as you need. The right side of the uh, screen will allow you to make the answer choices multiple choice, or you can put a timer on the feature as well. You can use find an image where you can upload an image from your computer and you can ask a question. This will work well with identifying sales or anything such as science and biology courses. Next, you have your rating. You can ask a question and you can enter the different ratings in which you can have a scale. You can even ask an open-ended question where you can ask the question and you can check it if you want the question to be graded, but basically you can ask the question and provide a blank space and you can define the number of maximum characters for that question. With the word cloud, you can ask a question to the students, what comes to mind when they think of a certain concept and the students are able to provide an answer and a word cloud is created and you can choose different ways to um, modify how the word cloud is displayed. With find the number feature, you're able to ask the question and then you're able to provide minimum and maximum values. For matching, you're able to provide the question and you can provide different answer choices in which you can allow the students to match similar concepts. For the next one, you will have the prioritization, which will work well with uh, emergency management courses. Um, they can prioritize different elements of what they would choose to handle first. You have a sorting feature. You can Ask the students to place a question in chronological order. This will work well with history subjects as well. You have fill in the blank. You can provide an answer and you can allow the students to participate by entering their own answer choices. You have a slide feature where you can enter a unique slide and your text will display on the slide itself. You have the brainstorming feature where the instructor can ask a question and he or she can provide uh, different categories and the students can make suggestions based on those categories. You have a question said that is unique to this uh, application called the script concordance test. This works well with case scenarios 
where you can provide all the details of the case, you can provide a hypothesis, any additional information, and you can provide a lacquer scale where the students can um, basically work through the case study as needed. And last but not least, you're even able to upload a video. You have a link here, or you can do an MP4 file. So basically, you're able to create as many events as you need, and you're able to have immediate feedback. And I hope you're able to incorporate WooClap into your classroom soon. And don't forget to check out my website that has more information on how to use WooClap and all the pros and cons and different tutorials and instructional strategies. Simply just go to it648wooclap.com.weebly.com. Again, that's it648wooclap.weebly.com. And don't forget to log out. And once you sign up, you can always sign back on. Your information is saved as long as you don't delete it. I hope I've been helpful, and I look forward to utilizing WooClap in my classroom soon. Thank you.